Good morning, everyone. Welcome to WEHT Local Lifestyles. I'm Angie Humphrey. I'm here with Nora Robertson. Yes, Nora's going to help us out today. She is. And help me with the weather later on today, too. So through the St. Jude program, your mom donated enough money to St. Jude, which is always a good car <laughs> thing to, to donate to. And now you get to help us out on the weather. Pretty good So deal. glad you're here. So glad you're here. Well, coming up today, besides yeah. Nora on the show, the Farrells are just getting wound up over there yeah. from Home Envy. They're going to show some really cool finishes and fixtures for showers, bathrooms, kitchens, all kinds of options. You're going to love them all. Coming up in August, the Junior League presents a women's conference set to inspire and educate. Lisa Vaughn brings the details. The Boys and Girls Club. Shanna Grinninger brings us up to speed where all the summertime activities that really help the kids have a brighter future. And in our King's Cooking segment, a young chef with a rising star cooks up some great food, Ron. It was really good. I bet uh, it was. <laughs> and we'll hear it's the story here. behind the faith-based organization that focuses on prisoners returning to society. So big show today, Nora. It Great really big is. show. You yes. came on a good day. She you, didn't come you, on a good really day. You really did. It would be even a better day if we actually had the chef in the studio cooking for us. He's that would have been better. He's bitter. I'm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also bitter about having to do this forecast. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, I, just don't do it. All right, I, I really shouldn't. But let's take a look outside right now, Chris. There's our tower camp. Hey, look at this, Nora. If you're going to the east side of Evansville, coming from Warren County, back good up. luck to you. Starting to back up a little bit, of course, two-lane traffic there. Now, of course, these clouds are helping us out. The temperature, not quite as warm as what we normally are at this time, for this time of the year. 80 degrees right now in Evansville, 83 in Owensboro. And what's that temperature in Santa Claus, Nora? you got to get, get ready for... Uh, uh, Can yeah, you closely. see that? <laughs> uh, 83. It's 83, that's right. You're Very good. Right. 83 in Jasper it. and 81 in Carmine. So, yeah, it's, it's heating up out there. It looks like we're going to be in the low 90s, most of us now, for a high. So, not looking quite as bad as it did earlier. So, I guess my forecast has a new wrinkle that's not a bad wrinkle. We'll take that. Yeah, especially with those old age apps. I had plenty of wrinkles <laughs> yesterday. <so. laughs> anyway. Well, it's time to get to today's Daily Dish. Now, can you imagine starting a brand new career, a startup career at the age of 77? Well, actually, I can't imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Paul McCartney is writing a musical, an adaptation of one of the world's most famous films, It's a Wonderful Life. Really? The musician says all the music and lyrics will be his own creation. Now, according to his website, he was approached by the producer three years ago, so the project's been a well-kept secret. So Paul McCartney is, of course, a Grammy winner uh, many times over, and so he calls the project interesting and fun. It's a Wonderful Life. The musical will debut late in 2020. Wow. I think that's kind of a big deal. It is a really big deal. I, I love Paul McCartney. Of course, I'm a big Beatles fan from way back. You know back. who Paul McCartney is. Nora. Uh, I mean, but Nora was <laughs> named after Nora Jones. Right. And Nora Jones was actually at the ceremony when Paul McCartney was, I think, in, no, he wasn't inducted to the Rock Hall of Fame. Something else, though. So, you know, so, so she's got like a kind of a tie to it. Anyway, I love It's a Wonderful Life. Probably my favorite Christmas movie. Do you know that gonna... movie? It's a Wonderful Life. You oh, watch no. it at Christmas time. All right, Adrian, you need to get on. There you go. Now you know what you guys need to watch at Christmas time. It's... Beatles music, It's a Wonderful Life. Jimmy Stewart. Mr. Gower. Mr. <laughs> Gower. It's me, George Bailey. George Bailey. Larry. Oh. Right, so, but before he goes any further, uh, there's, <laughs> you'll like this story, Norv. This 11-year-old's marketing scheme has sure gotten attention in this Utah community, including the police's attention. Brigham City Police Department posted photos of Seth Parker's sign advertising what looked like ice-cold beer. Police say they received three uh, reports uh, from the business operation, and they went to investigate, and that's when they discovered this small print on the boy's sign. Seth was actually selling, of course, ice-cold oh. root beer. The word root is written on the top. You can barely see it yeah, there no, see in it green now. letters. Yeah, Police say the sign's <laughs> ingenious, and apparently Seth's mom and dad helped him with the marketing campaign. Now, all this attention from the police and everyone else has actually helped his business. It's booming, so he plans to keep his ice-cold root beer stand open till school <laughs> okay. starts. No, it's his, uh, it's <laughs> ice see, good cold idea. root beer <laughs> stand up. Yeah, that, That's hilarious. <laughs> that really is pretty hilarious. I wish I would have thought of that when I had my lemonade stand back in the day. Yeah, you didn't do too well with your lemonade stand. I had one sale, he said it tasted like sweat. Yeah, that wasn't exactly the best thing. Okay, day. well, don't do that. Nora. No, you don't okay. do that. Don't waste your time. Well, I know you'll be excited about this story. Uh -huh. Today, Thursday, is National Caviar Day. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. observed every year around July 18th. 
Uh, caviar has long been a pricey luxury item, but it's also relatively he relatively healthy. It's it? packed with protein and vitamins. Yeah. Simply put, caviar is sturgeon, fish, eggs. Yeah. yeah. There are numerous species of sturgeon there for various different colors of caviar. But National Caviar Day isn't just about caviar. It's also about a chance to raise awareness about the preservation of the sturgeon fish itself because sturgeon populations have historically been diminished due to over-harvesting for, you guessed it, caviar. caviar. They're beloved for their caviar. You know, I, I don't think I've ever had caviar. Now, Angie, you're a woman of the world. Have I am you, a woman of the world. Have you had caviar? I have. Do you like it? No. <laughs> well, you don't no. even like fish, so I can't no. imagine you I like do fish like eggs. salty things, though, and it's very salty, but yeah. it's just, I think because I know what it is. Right, You right. know, it's just off-putting. Although but it's not like we don't eat hen eggs, you know? <laughs> true, but they don't, um, it's just, yeah, whatever. I'm just right, more enculturated to that, if, if that's a word. So, I guess so. Yeah, have you had caviar? Uh, no. This is a wonderful, this is the day, so I know you're going to go buy her a jar. Well, right? wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll tell you, it's also another day. It's also Sour Candy Day. Ew. Now, Nora, you had Sour Candy. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. There so, you Mari, go. get her some Sour Candy today. I don't like either one of them, Sour Candy or Caviar. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back after this. Jody and Kevin Farrell from Home Envy are here. Yee!